guys welcome back to my channel today I have my curriculum for my second grader to show you and this is just her curriculum her personal curriculum <clears throat> excuse me so it will include reading language arts um, math and handwriting um, everything else um, like science social studies history all of that we do as a family we just those are family subjects so I will make another video with those I'm waiting for a few more things to come in the mail um, and then I will make the video over those but I just got the rest of her curriculum in the mail so I wanted to go ahead and start so <clears throat> I'm gonna move some of this out of the way all right <clears throat> okay so We'll start with language arts. So we are sticking, as far as she goes, we are sticking with Christian Light Education, or also known as CLE, um, language arts, and she will be doing language arts too. <clears throat> this comes with the teacher's manual, which actually I am still in the middle of using, so it's upstairs, so I didn't run and get it, but um, I'll show you this. This is the read the teacher's manual for reading and it's pretty much the same it's got all the lessons I'll kind of show you how this one's set up so for instance this is the starting of the lesson they give you objectives board prep and then it goes into the lesson I like that it shows you what the student is seeing in their workbook while you're working with them um, and then it moves into the next lesson because there are a lot of times I'm sitting with my like kindergarten first grader doing things while like um listening to her read something so i can look over this while you know doing something else and anyway so that is what the language arts um teacher's manual looks like only obviously it's for language arts so for cle it always comes with the teacher's manual and then you have what they call light units so for language arts two there are 10 light units they're not too thick they're pretty thin um and the light units we'll just make this really quick um <clears throat> are broken up into sections um every fifth uh lesson is a quiz so you've got four lessons and a quiz four lessons and a quiz and then down here you have um basically four lessons a self-check and then the test the quizzes and the tests are all located within the workbook um, and so this kind of goes over what she will be doing um, in this first book. And so for instance, lesson one for grade two, they're talking about what language is. Um, we're talking about table of contents, um, short vowel sounds, double letters, and there is spelling within this. Um, I was just going to, and I, and I actually said this in my third graders video, curriculum video, that we were just going to go with spelling, the spelling that they gave us, but I, I kind of wanted a separate program just because I feel like they don't do as much in the spelling here. It almost feels like an afterthought. So I actually bought them um, spelling workout and so when those books come in, I'll do a separate kind of flip through on that. But anyway, that's what these books look like. And I like that these lessons are not the same every single lesson. They have different thing, activities like, you know, you've got a crossword puzzle. There's, you know, circling letters, adding in letters. It's very, um, each little section is very short and concise, but it does... Um, it does make sure that they have reviewed the information. So for instance, this is talking about using is and are and am. So you go through a few exercises on that. And then over here you have we remember. And so this is the stuff you've done previously. So this is not a mastery program. It's a spiral program, which I absolutely love for my kids because we've done mastery programs and while they are great they don't work for my kids um our schedule can be kind of crazy and i don't like when they forget things and then we don't go back and review them um so it's nice that this is a spiral program so that is what her language arts book looks like in the back there's some extra activities and then here like i said here's the first quiz the second quiz and then oh in the middle is the test on this one and then there's the test 
And so I usually just pull those out and keep them off to the side until it's time for that. But there's language arts. And then reading will also be Christian light and it's reading too. And there are 10 light units for this one as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the, so for, for reading two for CLE, which is, it's not the same for every reading program, but for reading two, you have two teachers manuals and two readers. So, um, if you're going to purchase that, just know ahead of time that there, I didn't realize that, um, when I bought it the first time last year. And so I had to go back and buy the second, um, what do you want to call it? The second teacher's guide and the second reader, but <clears throat> the reader or teacher's guide number one's upstairs somewhere so anyway so you've got the 10 light units you got the two teachers manuals for reading two and you will have two readers the second reader is happy hearts the first reader is doors to discovery so first of all i'll show you the readers they're in color um, they are very wholesome stories every story has a bible verse that pertains to it and all of these stories focus on good character quality traits kind of like how Abeka's readers are and um, my oldest has really enjoyed these readers so and he's kind of picky about what he reads so I'm glad that he's liked them um, I showed you kind of the inside of the teacher's guide um, it's a pretty straightforward teacher's guide it is scripted on some things so that's nice and in the back it has like scope and sequence, it has study words, reading assessments, alternative tests. There's all sorts of good stuff back there in the appendix. Um, and then like this is 201. So this is the first light unit. So you have four lessons and a quiz, four lessons and a quiz, four lessons, a self check, which is basically like a review. And then the test. <clears throat> so the way that this one is set up, they always do it's like a not really a pre-lesson I mean it is a, a full lesson but they do a lesson um, before the actual story and then they do a lesson after they've read the story um, the first couple lessons are over following directions and answering answering questions but for instance Nell's dried onions is the first story so this first lesson you go over these study words that are words you will find in the story um, you kind of go over the, the exercises, take you over the meaning of the words. Um, it does do a little bit of grammar. So we're talking about short and long vowel sounds, double consonant endings. Um, and then it says at the end, it says read Nell's dried onions. So then the next day after they've read it, then they have the comprehension questions for the story. And then there are some review things. Um, and then at this point you would have the quiz and and here you have the quiz in the middle so there's quiz one and there's the test and then the back of quiz two and the back of quiz one and all that good stuff so that's what they look like so that's reading and that's language arts now as far as any kind of um like extra resources go <clears throat> i am going to be doing the abeka readers with her now, right now in front of me, I don't have the first two, uh, Fun With Pets and Tiptoes. Those are actually upstairs, um, but then I have the rest of them. Is that right? Maybe, a, maybe, a, let's see. One, two, three. Oh, what's the last one? Animals in the Great Outdoors. Okay, so I've got all the way to Down by the Sea. So there's one more after that. Anyway, I got these things all over the place. Um, so I will have her probably read a story a day. And then at the end of the stories, they have little exercises, whether it's sight words or um, little activities like phonics activities. Sometimes there's questions. Um, so there's phonics built in, but these are also very wholesome stories that focus on good character qualities and she really likes reading right now so she's gonna enjoy reading these she was asking me today actually after her lesson she's like hey can I read my she wanted to read her Bob books which she enjoys those too 
Um, okay, as far as any more additional resources, she's going to be doing this Evan Moore uh, Write a Super Sentence, which is for grades 1 to 3. If you've seen my um, second, no, soon to be third graders uh, video, um, he's doing Write a Super Paragraph. So this is kind of the one before this. But it basically starts out... Um, with how to write a really nice descriptive sentence. And so they start very um, easily and then kind of move up. I did um, a review already on this one and the Write a Super Paragraph. So they are on my channel and my videos. So you can look that up. I did a, a full flip through on that. <clears throat> so that's all of the grammar and reading for uh, handwriting. We're doing handwriting without tears. So, um, oh, wait a minute. Is this one hers? You know what? This is not hers. This is her brother's. Okay. So I believe, you know me. Yeah, I think this one, yeah, this, okay. So this is going to be my soon to be. I took the other one upstairs for him and said, okay, so she's doing printing power, handwriting without tears, which is like a teal colored. So this one's for my kindergartner. So, cause I'm like, wait a minute. She did, she's done this one and then she did the yellow one and now she'll be on printing power. So that one's not hers. Fun right there. But this one is hers. Um, this is the new building writer series through learning without tears. And it's kind of like the Evan Moore super sentence thing, but it just is helps them learn to be a better writer um, through learning about description and um, it, it introduces it slowly so they're not having to write um, a ton, you know, right out the gate. <clears throat> so I thought this would be, she, um, fights me so much on handwriting so when you get to the end obviously it's more writing but she fights me so much on handwriting and so but she likes writing stories and things so I think that this will be kind of like a good uh, in between for her so that one is hers and then her math she will be doing a Becca arithmetic two and um, this one my son just finished up um, and I really 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 like Abeka arithmetic. Um, I won't go through every single thing here, but it's going to go through starting out counting and writing to 300, um, addition and subtraction families 1 through 9, place value to hundreds, money, symmetry, fractions, m liquid measures, temperature, uh, multiplication table 0, 1, 5, and 10, Perimeter, division table 10, rounding numbers to the nearest 10, line graphs, pie graphs, comparing fractions. So that's kind of a small snippet of what's included here. Um, I don't buy, sorry, that's kind of out of the frame. I don't buy the the whole kit, and I've gone through this before. I don't buy the whole kit for Rebecca this year. I just bought the work text and the tests and speed drills. I don't need the key for these um, because if I don't know the answers to grade two math, I don't have any business homeschooling my kids, at least in my opinion. Um, and as far as like the way the let the the book, the teacher's book that shows you the lessons or how the lessons are laid out, we kind of go at our own pace. A lot of times we will do two full pages a day. Um, unless we get to a concept that needs a little more um, time and work, then we'll stop there and um, add in some extra practice. But as of right now, everything is going smoothly. And so we like that it's colorful. And this is also a spiral program. It does continue to go over concepts that they've already learned so that you don't have to worry about them forgetting things. So that's the work text, and then the test and speed drills look, you know, pretty similar to the work text. <clears throat> Excuse me. So like for this is arithmetic test two. So that's front and back, and then you've got a speed drill here. 
on the back. Like it'll say this one, give them one minute. So whatever they finish in one minute, you know, and so and here's another test. And then the speed drill. So it just kind of goes on like that throughout the book. So that is her math. So that is what she is doing for language arts, reading, handwriting, and math. And so all of these things, like I said, are her curriculum. Um, and we typically, even though they have their, obviously they have their own individual like um, curriculum for the subjects, um, we still a lot of times will sit down together and they will do their math and reading and stuff kind of around this at the same time. So they all have desks and I kind of float around and help them where they need help. Um, sometimes um, if we're really getting into heavy, uh, new heavy concepts, I'll have to stagger them so that I can give them more attention. But that's kind of the, the nice thing about homeschool is you can just do it um, how it works for your family and you can be flexible. So if you have any questions, just write them down below in the comment box. Um, yeah, and if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button because I have more videos coming. Um, thank you for watching my video and I will see you all next time. Bye.